Welcome to the Generic Tech Support YouTube channel, home of the Granite Security Package. Like and subscribe for more content. Have you ever installed Linux Mint on a system that maybe is just a little too slow to run Linux Mint? Maybe that Mint system really could use a little more swap file. I'm going to show you how to modify the swap file on Linux Mint today real easy. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to actually shut off the swap file. So we're going to do sudo swap off space hyphen a and hit enter. We're going to notice that swap not available is what the status has changed to on our configuration. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to allocate 8 gigs for a swap file. So it's just sudo f allocate space dash l space 8 gigs or 8g for 8 gigs space forward slash swap file and then we're going to hit enter the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set the permissions on the file now chmod or change mode 600 basically gives us the ability to read and write the data but it blocks all other groups and all other access so it can't be used as an executable at this point because we've now set the file permission or will set the file permission on the swap file. So to do that, it's just sudo space chmod space 600 space forward slash swap file and then we're going to hit enter. Now we're going to make the actual swap file a swap file and to do that what we're going to do is we're going to do sudo space mk swap space forward slash swap file and then we're going to hit enter. This is when we'll get the output indicating specifically that we're wiping the old swap signature and we're creating a new swap file at 8 gigabytes in size. And we can see 8 GIB listed here. At this point, what we're going to do is we're going to turn the swap file back on and we're going to tell it to use swap file as the file for the swap file. So it's just sudo swap on space forward slash swap file. And there we go, we can see that we have 8.6 gigs now of swap file available up above here. So now if we want to check this, what we could do is we could do sudo swap on double dash and then do show. We could see here that the swap file is now 8 gigs in size, we've used 0 bytes and we have a priority of negative 2. Something to understand real quick is that negative true priority means that it's the low priority. So the lower the priority is on the swap file, the less likely the swap file will be used versus physical memory. Physical memory is always faster. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching the Generic Tech Support YouTube channel. Find the content of this video at https generictechsupport.com forward slash hashtag channel.